What is going on guys to a brand new Pokemon Go video. Mystic S12 video here. We're out in the snow once again. We're out searching for good Pokemon. So hopefully we get a good egg here. Come on. Uh, we get a five. Is that a five? Yeah. It's a 5k egg, one day streak. So we're going to put two fives in incubators and get those going. We're going to hatch those. Um, I'll, get, I'll let you guys know uh, some information towards the end of the video about some upcoming news uh, for updates and, and all that. So stick around to the end of the video or you can just skip ahead to that. So uh, yeah, let's get, let's get going and see if we can get some rare Pokemon, guys. All right, guys, so we have beaten down this gym a little bit so we can bulk it up. We can add a guy. Let's see, pretty uh, diverse, but we're gonna add someone we want to be the top guy, so hopefully we have a top guy to add. Yeah, there it is, wifey. 2,900, boom, got the new leader there. We went ahead and claimed 50 uh, before this one, but we have six in the gym now. We have 450 coins still. Let me guys know, uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to purchase more incubators, hatch more eggs, you want me to purchase some bag room for generation two Pokemon. So let me know in the comments below, guys. Uh, Still haven't found any rare Pokemon. We're still searching, but uh, we got our update here with our eggs. Let's see here, 1.9 out of five. So we're getting, we're about halfway there, guys. All right, guys, so we just got a Jigglypuff. We got a, a Tuner and hiding right behind this Rhyhorn. Strange. 12.44, all right. All right, so we're gonna, I just want to Ultra Ball it because if it is a good IV, that's gonna be a really good ride on. Oh god, come on. Boom, should have a one bar, guys. One, two. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, so we're gonna get this guy. I'm not gonna waste too many ultra balls on him. I'm gonna have to switch to great balls here shortly. And boom, we got the Rhyhorn. We got enough candies to, to actually evolve it if it's a good IV here. Above average. Still, a 1244 Rhyhorn is actually pretty huge, guys. So, uh, yeah. What's our eggs looking like here? 2.3, so about halfway. All right, guys, so we're gonna take down this gym here. We already took down one, one guy. We got just the Gyarados left. We're just gonna go ham here. This uh, Gyarados actually has Hydro Pump, which I'm totally jealous of. I hope uh, one of our two Gyarados that we're going to evolve will actually have Hydro Pump, because look at that. Beast. We didn't we didn't even care to dodge because it was going to be cake, so. Boom. Got the win. <laughs> going to put another guy up in the, in the gym here. Hopefully we got a decent guy. I know we have at least one good guy. We'll put a Vaporeon up, so. That's, uh, that's always a good defender. So, uh, yeah, here you go, guys. We did our little Pokeball in the snow. Boom. Have you guys ever seen spikes in the snow? Look at this. That's really spiky, guys. Those are spikes. Holy crap. Oh crap guys, look who we stumbled across. The, the event is over, it's been over, and we got a Charmeleon in the wild. 601, we'll bury Ultra Ball it. Pretty cool find. He's over here at Ace Hardware. Checking out some tools, I guess. Nice throw, or great throw. And bang, we got a one baller Charmeleon. Let's check his IVs here. Certainly caught the attention, so that's a good find, guys. All right, guys, so we got a wild Scyther here. Charmeleon did a Scyther, guys? What? What's up with that? 1320, not bad. Not, uh, I'm kind of sweaty over here. It's actually not that cold out, guys. Hmm, come on. Jeez, this guy is far back. That was a horrible throw. Let's see if we can get him. Boom, one baller. Cool, we missed a few and then now we got him. All right, we'll check his IVs. Good, uh, 
be good. Now I can make metal. We'll still transfer it. It's good uh, scissor candies for second generation too, guys. All right, guys, as you can see above me here, 4.1 out of 5. We're so close to hatching these eggs. That'd be so cool if we get a Pichu in this episode. Oh, let's do it. All right, guys, so uh, we got a quick update on my Dratini walking bud here. We have 134 Dratini candies, so we're definitely stacking those up so we could power our 100% IV Dragonite up, which is going to be awesome. So stick around for that, guys. All right, guys, so we got an Abra here. There's supposed to be two Abras, but apparently only one showed up. A 767. We always seem to find these guys in our videos, too. Pretty cool. Come on, Abra. Really? Go the other way, then. Look at that. Reversed. And bang, we got the Abra. Let's check his IV, see if he's any good. Most likely he's not. Not likely. So we're going to transfer him out for some candies. Alright guys, so we randomly decided to catch this EV that was 400. And uh, we appraise him here. Look at this. He's a wonder, HP, attack. So he's above 90% IV, which is an awesome find, guys. Here's a quick update on our eggs. 4.8 out of 5. We've been finding some good stuff. Uh, like so far, Charmeleon, Scyther. There was a Pikachu nearby, but I wasn't too concerned about that. We got an Abra. Supposed to get two of those. But still, we got our eggs are going to be popping. And we're going to get a Pichu here. I'm crossing my fingers on that. We're going to get a Pichu, guys. Alright, guys. So we got a Vile Plume on sightings. We're actually going to go get that guy right now. So we're going to see where he's at. I think it's a straight shot. Yeah. So we got a straight shot down to a Vile Plume. And uh, yeah, pretty cool find on that one. I haven't seen one in the wild in quite a while. And obviously, you can see a piece of crap junky Geo dude on the list. So we're <laughs> screw you, Geo dude. We're not even ignore you. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got the vile one right here. Hopefully, he's uh, pretty good IVs here. Any 1712. That's actually a, a pretty big one. A lot of Ultra Balls we're using today, guys. A lot of Ultra Balls. Hopefully, we can one ball this one. Great throw. One baller. Come on. Come on, guys. What? One baller, and he jumps out. Ugh. And boom, took three balls, three ultra balls to get this vile plume. So hopefully he has a good move set. Acid solar beam, IVs here. Let's see. Certainly caught the attention. So actually a pretty good vile plume, guys. All right, guys, made it to our two 5km egg hatch. Let's go. Not saying nothing. Let's go. Meow. Not good, guys. And we got one more. Not good. Let's go. All right, guys. So we got a we got a war turtle here. Charmeleon. Now a war turtle. Need an Eversor. One twenty one. Whoa. And bang, got the war turtle with the one baller, guys. We'll check his IVs, even though he's only 100 CP. Not likely to make battle, so we're gonna transfer that for the candies. But still, a Charmeleon and a war turtle, pretty crazy, guys. All right, guys, so we did it. We actually did it. We got the Charmeleon, then the war turtle, now the Ivasaur here. So we completed the second evolution starter series, guys. So that's freaking awesome. Give me a thumbs up. If you thought that was cool that we found all three of those guys in today's video, whew, let's ultra ball them so that way we can say we got them all. Excellent throw, one bar. Come on, guys. We got this. And bang, we completed the trio, guys. Very cool. 
Don't care about those egg hatches. We found all three second evolution starter Pokemon today. Very, very cool and very rare to do, especially when it's not even the starter event. That starter event has long gone past. All right, guys, so we got a 700 plus EV, which are pretty rare in my book. Let me know if you guys find a bunch of 700 EVs because I sure, I sure as hell don't. So here we go. One, two, and three. Oh. All right, we got him this time. And boom, got the Eevee, guys. Let's see here, any good? Above average, not the greatest, so we're gonna transfer him out for candies, guys. All right, guys, so here is the update part. There's this guy named Albert Choi. He's 20 year old. He's a 20 year old uh, like creator for like doing like advertising and all that and stuff. But this is what he came up with. This is kind of like a sort of like an idea I put out there a while back. Uh, there's two different tracking systems. One is a familiar Pokemon tracker, which is what we got now, and one is an unidentified Poke track. So basically, he's saying uh, that you need to get an item called the uh, footprint identifier. And once you get that footprint identifier, you can actually come across some Generation 2 Pokemon. So that would actually be a good concept, to be honest. So uh, also, also down uh, down below, shiny Pokemon. It says shiny Pokemon are going to be coming out very soon, obviously. Uh, so he took a step further. He said that he thinks he, it would be a perfect representation of a shiny Pokemon profile page right, right here, guys. I mean, look at that. That actually looks pretty cool, a shiny Cyndaquil. Um, I do think, I personally think shinies will be coming out very, very soon. Uh, possibly, possibly within a few weeks, guys. I mean, seriously, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, idea here. Also, he talks uh, talks about, like this right here, talks about um, battle centers and trade centers could be uh, years away. So, I mean, it, if that's true, if it's coming out years away, it's really gonna take away from uh, all the aspects of the Pokemon game. So you, Niantic will lose a lot of um, a lot of players by uh, pushing that out for years, years to come. So I think battling and trading should have already been out, guys. So I mean, look, I mean, we go down the page here. Look, different concepts. You got Ho Ho, which is actually pretty cool. You got the Master Ball. You got one ball. That's obvious. You get one ball in all the uh, the video games. So um, also down here we got Ampharos. $15.99, pretty weak guy, but uh, it says, like, could the trading system here, it says Meryl was traded for Ampharos. Who would trade a Meryl for an Ampharos? I mean, that's crazy. But uh, pretty cool concepts here. Also, they talk about badges. You know how um, how uh, you have to collect all eight badges to get into, like, the, the Elite Four and stuff. So if they went ahead and did, like, uh, sort of, like, uh, missions or achievements to actually do that which you can earn badges. That would absolutely be insanely awesome, guys. I would I would love that. And it shows how many gym wins you've got total. I would love to see how many gym battles I have won. That is definitely a cool feature if uh, we if it was actually happening. So two, you can see right here in this image, uh, yellow badge, he's got two out of eight. He's actually working on that one. And it says these, these are the, the, uh, the objectives you have to do to achieve the badge, which is awesome. I think this concept would actually make a lot more players out there play the game, stick with the game. Possibly they're gonna spend their money on the game too. So Niantic, this is good. This is a good concept for you guys to make your business increase. So this idea is very cool. I think it's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's basically talking about talking about all some uh, pretty cool stuff. Also, also I want to I want to talk a uh, quick real, a real quick the thing that I was that I was saying. There should actually be two tabs. Like you can see that right here, Johto Pokedex. It's not accurate with all the stuff, but there's a there's a Kanto and a Johto tab. So if you guys went ahead, oh, damn it. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, people walk by interrupting me. I mean, I'm out in the public, obviously. So uh, basically, as I was saying, so two tabs, one Kanto, one Johto. If you could choose between, like, depending on if you can get that item, the uh, the footprint identifier, if you get that, then you can get the new second generation Pokemon. 
but I feel that there should be two tabs, guys. This is what I've been saying in previous videos. This is what I've been telling people. If there was two tabs, you could choose between uh, catching Generation 2 Pokemon or Generation 1 Pokemon. And depending on that switch, uh, it'll give you the new eggs and the older eggs. So if you guys think that's a good idea, give me a like. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about all this news here. I definitely thought it was interesting. So definitely something to look forward to within the next week or two because that is going to be happening very soon. All right, guys. So that's basically going to wrap it up today. We, we came across a bunch of rare Pokemon, which is really <laughs> awesome. So we came across 134 Dratini candies. We're still stacking those up. Let me guys let me, let me know what you guys think about the new upcoming news, the updates, the the leaks, and all that coming out for for the new uh, second generation. Um, I also do think legendaries are gonna be happening here within a few weeks. I don't know how they're gonna incorporate it. Also, I want to tell you guys that I've heard speculation that on April Fool's Day. Every Pokemon is going to just be Magikarp, so keep that in mind. If you guys still need Gyarados or you're trying to get a different Gyarados with a better moveset, that will be your day to get out there and collect all those Magikarps to get enough candy to get your brand new fresh Gyarados. So I'm still, if that's, the, if that's true, I'm thinking I might want to go ahead and just save my candies to make a, make a, like a triple or quadruple Gyarados evolution video. So I don't know. I haven't heard anything back from you guys saying that you wanted to see me do a double, double evolution for uh, Gyarados, but let me know in the comments below if you guys think that would be a good idea for a video. i um, still excited to be uh, evolving this 100% IV Dratini all the way to a fresh Dragonite, so totally happy with that. So uh, yeah, it was, it's been a fun adventure actually getting out in the daylight instead of uh, at night, which is, tef is definitely uh, a good thing. So. Um, so yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for us guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Stay up to date on all the Pokemon Go news, all the videos. We out, we're out here having a good time, grinding, getting the best Pokemon we can. So this is Sean, also known as Mystic S1288, signing out, and we'll see you guys in the next one.